tutorial we'll be looking at a python implementation of the bellman equation so let let us look at the problem statement that was discussed in the class uh, we will consider a time horizon of t equal to four weeks and in the first week the demand is three second week is four third week is two and the fourth week is four respectively and these are the ordering and the carrying costs for this given problem and there is a constraint on the maximum number of orders that one can place in a week that's five units and the warehouse capacity is four units and the condition is that the demand must be met for each time period let us look at the python implementation now we are using a python numpy package that performs mathematical vectorized mathematical operations that's called as numpy and here we are giving the problem settings and the possible actions is nothing but uh, it can start from zero it, we can order zero or we can order a maximum of five so that's presented here and uh, so let's say we are in a current state a, a current state and we are making an action for a specific demand then the next state is going to be max of current state plus action which is the total value minus the demand that we are able to uh, minus the demand that value or zero now since there is a constraint that the demand must always be met this is the state update equation and what is the immediate cost of placing an order the immediate cost of placing an order is nothing but ordering cost plus the cost due to uh, every product per product into the total number of quantities so that's the formula here and this will happen only if the current action is non-zero so that's why we have such a conditioning here and potentials is nothing but to find the bar. so after the recursive function is completed we need to find what are the actions taken at every time step so for that this potentials empty list is created we'll discuss about this in more detail below so let us look at the value function the value function is nothing but the value function is nothing but the bellman equation here f f f f s of t is given right f t at s of t so this is the value function that we are going to model so here you can see that it is a recursive relation <coughs> uh, so let's see what does the value function take as an input the value function takes the current state and the time step as presented in the slides and what does it do if if it's the final state it only returns the immediate cost because there is no uh, after that the entire uh, process is complete and we need not hold any future inventory for the problem and so there is no requirement of placing an order after the last time step t equal to capital t so if it is the last time step then for that specific time steps demand minus current state or max error so action could the action should be whatever is minimum required to meet the last state's demand and that's or the max order value whatever it is uh, it should be the minimum walk both and that is the most optimal action at the last time step just to meet the demand at the last time step uh, and returns the immediate immediate cost of making that action that's the only action required because there is no further action required and there is no uh, inventory holding in, in after the last time step so that's it let's say so let's say if the time step is not equal to capital d there's something intermediate what does it happen uh, we need to we need to write this we need to perform this recursive relation and how do we do that here we take that for action in every possible set this possible action space what do we do we try to calculate the next state on the condition that we are able to meet the demand at the current state so the minimum value can be only this much and the maximum value can be the inventory size okay and uh, whatever whatever satisfies this this should be the uh, value and if in the next state is greater than or equal to zero then the f is equal to carrying cost per unit per time period into next state which is nothing but the inventory cost of holding the uh, next uh, next state for the given time period t to t plus one and this is the value function value function for the next time period okay so what what is happening here is that 
this exact expression is happening here so let's say at a time uh, let's say we are at a time t at, at st and we are supposed to make, make an action at at and now because of this at st st plus one will also change so we need to minimize this immediate cost plus the value function of the next state for all potential ats and that's what is happening here since there is a minimum of minimum of at we try to for loop for every possible action and then find the potential value for all such actions the total value and then we find the best action meaning that the minimum value that's why we have a fun variable called as a value which is currently assigned as numerically a very large value and then we will find the minimum value along the way where all possible actions because of this condition if in the first iteration when value is equal to numerical infinite value whatever value we get will be strictly less than the numerical infinite value and we'll update it and we'll get the best action and this will be looping over all possible actions for the given state to find the best value of f the best value of f fp of st as given in the slides okay understood yeah so once this is this is uh, once this is completed we add the uh, to the so once this is completed we add it to the empty list potentials which contains the time step the current state the best action that we took in the current state and the demand that was needed to be met in the current state and the next is next state's value and we finally return the value so where do we tell, where do we have the recursive relation so the recursive relation comes here so when we are in the current state and the current time step we need to find the value of the future state and the future time step plus one's value function so this is where it comes so if you look at the expression more clearly this immediate cost plus the carrying cost of holding an inventory from t to t plus one next uh, for inventory of value equal to next state between time t and t plus one this is the holding uh, uh, inventory holding cost and this is the immediate cost of placing an order and this is the value function of the next state st plus one comma t plus one so this expression is exactly equivalent to whatever we have in the bellman equation here what we are doing is that we are looping over all possible actions to find the minimum possible value for this expression and then we are assigning that to be the best action that we could take for the current time step uh, yes so this this is how the recursive function is written and the recursive function will exit only at the last time step okay understood yeah so here we initialize the so now we try to solve the problem here in the, in the at time step equal to one we assume that we don't have any inventory with us so that is current state equal to zero and time step equal to one so current state equal to zero time step equal to one so here you can see that the total uh, uh bag the, the total cost is 39.5 okay and for this 39.5 total cost we need to find what all actions we made the uh, what is the optimal path that we took at what time step how much uh, how much of order did we place so for that we can see that here in the first time step the current state the initialization was zero and we took an action of placing four orders and the demand was three orders okay so the demand was met and the next stay next is time steps initial inventory was one because four minus three is one and here we place an action of five so totally six and among the six our demand of four was uh distributed so the remaining current the remaining is two and the uh and, and in the third time step and in the third time step uh, the current state is two, and we did not make an order at all and so the final demand is two, which is also met so the next current state is zero and in that zero the required demand was four and that was also ordered and that was also de delivered so we will get the uh, actions for the uh, t minus one steps
from the potentials list where which we where we appended the current state and the best action for the given time step and the current state okay so we got 39.5 uh, so how do we know it's the best strategy so let's 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 look at the values and see what what could be a best strategy from a human intuition the more basic strategy could be to meet so here you can see that the max order is 5 and the demand for daily is less than 5 and so what we can do is that we can meet the demand on the fly meaning that we can order three three units on day one meet the demand and again we can order four units on day two and meet the uh, week two and meet the demand and two units on week three meet the demand four two units on uh, four units on week four and meet the demand whenever there is a demand we just place an order and uh, supply it off that could be one stra one 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 way but the problem there is that every time you put an order you need to pay an uh, pay uh, ordering cost of four dollars which only makes so since that since it is going to be a uh, fixed cost irrespective of the amount of quantity that you place an order if you can minimize the number of uh, times you place an order then the effective ordering cost per product can reduce if you can take a place a bulk order beforehand and what is the uh, trade-off that you're going to pay if you're going to play a bulk order before the demand has realized the only downside is that you have to hold it till that time period which has a cost of 0.5 per unit per time period so that is the trade-off either to meet the demand on the fly or to buy additional quantity before the demand has realized and then hold it till the time it is uh, need to be settled off so here you can see that the alternating strategy is so since you are going to have only the immediate cost whenever you are going to meet the demand the meet the demand on fly it's going to be immediate cost of the first demand immediate cost of the second second demand time step third and fourth so it's immediate cost 3, 4, 2 and 4. So the value is 42 which is greater than the value that we have obtained is 39.5. And so we, here we can see that optimizing the value function or solving the Bellman equation gives us the most optimal path.